My father, Jim Moran, believed that everyone deserves a chance to succeed and that those who are struggling need our help the most. At the James B. Moran Center for Youth Advocacy, we stand up and speak out for Evanston's most vulnerable youth and families in the courts, in the schools, and on the streets. The Moran Center represents low-income youth in juvenile court, criminal court, and in school discipline and special education matters. But we're not just these kids' lawyers. We are their lifeline. I want to express my appreciation to the Moran Center for the manner and extent to which you represented my grandson, Jack. Jack, who we have cared for from the age of five, was arrested for selling a small amount of marijuana, a stupid thing to do. From that arrest until recently, he appeared in court numerous times. During this long period and many court appearances, you never gave up on him. I came to believe that you care as much about my grandson's welfare and future as I do. You saw him through his substance abuse program at the Cook County Jail, and during those periods of incarceration, you visited him often, you even attended his graduation from boot camp. My wife and I could simply not have afforded to pay for our grandson's defense. In any case, no other legal defense would have equaled the efforts and outcome of the Moran Center. Our social workers restore young people, providing individual, group, and family therapy with a focus on building problem-solving and conflict resolution skills. Our restorative programs prevent young people from engaging in self-destructive behavior and help them rebuild their lives. Dear Kristen, you helped me out so many times when I didn't think that anyone could help me. Whenever I'm in trouble or I feel like I can't control myself, I think about what we talked about and it helps me to make the right decision. I know I still make some wrong decisions, but I am trying. I could have made a lot more wrong decisions if you were not my social worker. I'm going to start over. I'm going to be successful. And when I am, you are going to be a big person to thank for that. For real. Thank you, Kristen. The Moran Center redirects youth and families in an effort to help them stay out of trouble and move toward a positive future. The Moran Center operates the expungement help desk at the Skokie Courthouse every Tuesday and Thursday morning. At the help desk, staff attorneys and volunteers provide free legal assistance to individuals seeking to expunge or seal their criminal records, helping increase individuals' access to education, employment, and housing. She was his attorney and she went through a lot with him. But she was able to help him come out of his ordeal and she helped me in the process uh, find connections with housing, uh, connections with Section 8. She was very, very helpful and I really appreciate her. I really do. What makes the Moran Center unique in our community is that because of the Moran Center, we don't give up on any of our kids. They'll seek out youth that need help, as opposed to waiting for them to have the confidence to come to them. Uh, the Moran Center is supportive, collaborative, and caring. The Moran Center is agile, it's creative, and it's dedicated to building itself as an organization to serve Evanston. The Moran Center is competent, compassionate, and consistent. The Moran Center is inclusive, professional, and patient. Because of the Moran Center, young people and their families have the ability to become the people that they were intended to be and the citizens that we want them to be in Evanston. Because of the Moran Center, our community is safer and our youth are empowered to do the right thing. Because of the Moran Center, you can picture this when I was on the high school school board. We had an expulsion hearing, and at most of the hearings, the Moran Center represented the student. But at this hearing, the Moran Center had not been invited to attend, and this young woman had only her brother at her side, and the rest of the room was filled with high school administrators and every member of the seven-member high school school board and two young children facing us. That girl was the most alone child I've ever seen. And so because of the Moran Center, Evanston's children do not have to face the world alone. My dad believed that everyone deserves a second chance, 
And that's our work, representing, redirecting, and restoring Evanston's struggling kids and families. Take action today. Support the mission and the work of the Moran Center. Tell others about the Moran Center. Advocate for struggling youth in our community to gain access to justice and quality education. Thank you for supporting my dad's work, this work, our work.